off to start the video, you'll just want to head to the site. I'll have the link in the description, but this is actually the t-shirt template site, and what we're looking for here is the shirt template. This is a, ch a template for pants, but in this video, uh, specifically, I'll just be looking at how to make shirts, and you can also uh, apply this process on, uh, you know, making pants, which is just as easy as making shirts. But you just want to click here and click Save Image As. Okay, so after that, you'll just want to download the uh, shading template, and you can also download the template again from my Discord page. There is a channel called Shading Template under the Events tab. You'll be sure to see it. Just simply uh, download the file. It is already pre-aligned, but uh, uh, minor adjustments can be made. You will then want to make a clothing tutorial fo folder. This will help you out a lot uh, in the future, and it will be a really easy place to help you locate uh, the shading template and the shirt templates and any other uh, templates you may have made. Uh, well, you'll want to open up your folder here. Um, simply just click this template, not the shading template, the shirt template. Press open with Adobe Photoshop 2019. Um, or uh, other versions like CS5 if you have uh, an older version. But before we click off this video, in order to get Photoshop for free, uh, there is a 30 day free trial that they do for the, the newest version. Um, you just have to install an app and then you'll have it for 30 days. But there's also ways to uh, get a patcher for it, which I, I'm not going to go in depth, but you can try that. It is illegal, but um, there's you can also use this with any other photo uh, editor like Affinity Photo. Or some, there are some online photo uh, editors, uh, or just like free photo ed editors in general. But anything that has like layers, okay, is what you're gonna want to use. All right. So once you're in, uh, once you're in, t once you're in the uh, in Photoshop, you'll have the layers section. Now this section is very important. You want to pay attention to it, um, and it's really how I make te uh, a shirt template that's easy to use. So then what? We're All right. So then you'll just want to drag in the shading template. It should automatically align. Actually, it did not, but that's fine. Um, but it's basically line it up. But here you can see it sort of lines up. Just reposition it. Um, it. That shouldn't be too hard. You can use the arrow keys too for like super precise movement. By the way, if you guys want to line it up uh, really, really exactly. So I'm just gonna align that real quick. All right. So once you align it, it should look something like this. Now at this point, what you can do is you can find any like sort of patterns and just put it in between the background layer and the shading template. Uh, you will always want the shading template to be on top. Uh, if you have any logos, you'll have those on top of the shading templates. For example, if I have the shading template um, below the background, which is locked below the background, you can't see it. So that applies to all layers. Now in Photoshop, you can use various tools like the text tool, um, the uh, you know the ellipses tool or the rectangle tool. So say I wanted to make a red T-shirt, I'll just go like this, make a rectangle here, put the shading template on top of it, and well, black's not a good color, is it? Change that to green, and bam, we have a green T-shirt here. Um, maybe you know. Uh, make that a different color, and you can use any image too, and you can you know you can drag resize images just like you would in any other photo sh uh, photo editor. Maybe you go here and then T for the text tool. Foot switch. You can import f custom fonts from the web, which is something that I really like about Photoshop. Um, so let's just say, say you just want to have that like a really random name. But you can reposition that here. Bam. Here are, I'd like to show you guys some of my more advanced templates that I have made. Um, this is my V2 shirt template. Um, I haven't made a shirt in a while, but um, here it is. Uh, if you look in the layers section, I have uh, multiple layers. Uh, I have you know a shading layer, lots of text layers. Um, this is the pattern layer I have. Now, if you're wondering how I cut out the sleeves, basically uh, Photoshop has this tool that um, will allow you to basically just uh, cut um, different, you know, uh, sections of something out. Basically just cut. So if you take like a selector tool here, I can just get that selection, bam, delete it. It'll cut through the template. Uh, undo that. Command Z to undo. And yeah, that's basically how uh, you make uh, cutouts for arms. Like as you can see here, 
uh, cutting out here will cut out over here uh, and yeah and then I'll, I'll just get right into uploading the shirt all right now there's a few things you will want to uh, do in order to save this and get this on Roblox the right way now first thing uh, it will only grab what's inside the template uh, by this I mean what's inside these colored sections here uh, nothing outside of that matters uh, so to basically you'll want to save this first as a template and save the uh, the other one to just and uh, in order to do that just do command s and it will uh, show you what location you want to save it as I recommend uh, saving it in like a merch folder that you uh, make I have a merch folder that I made where I save all my stuff now in order to get the t-shirt on Roblox, you'll just want to hit um, go to file on a Mac. Um, it's going to be different on Windows, but um, you just want to ex quick export as PNG. Um, I'm sure you, there's another way to get it on Windows, just like it might be at the top, I don't know. But you want to export it as a, P, uh, as a PNG. And yeah, you want to save that to um, a folder of some sort. And uh, what you want to do is you'll just want to... Um, head to the crate tab at the top here and then um, head to the shirts tab some old shirts I made, just ignore those and you'll wanna uh, find your file which will be a .png um, and yeah here's all my shirts I'll just pick one in particular uh, one that I've uh, why not, just this one upload that you'll just want to name it and you'll click upload um, I'm not going to upload this because I already uploaded this uh, whatever this file but once you hit upload uh, Roblox moderation will approve it so the design won't show up um, instantly but uh, yeah that's basically how you do it you'll have your shirt um, if you want to do a group upload just go uh, to your group tab and do the same thing here. So I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I might do tutorial uh, no Photoshop slash advanced like paid photo editor tutorial with Sumo Paint. If this or if video gets a lot of comments uh, saying, you know, I want to learn how to do it for free. Um, but, you know, uh, please subscribe if this helped you out. And, yeah, also liking really helps too. Uh, bye.